Welcome back, Pokemon trainers. Professor Chaz here, the lab coat's on back order, and it's time for episode number 8 of our Pokemon Stadium 2 playthrough. So, you have finally reached me. Alright, prepare for battle. And as Will just implied, we are currently battling the Elite Four of Gym Leader Castle. If you missed the last episode, we did take on Claire and defeated her in Blackburn City Gym, and promptly got destroyed by the first of the four Elite Four members, of course, the Psychic Type Will. So then, what I went ahead and did was, did another battle off camera because I thought I was recording and I wasn't. As it turns out, that's alright, I lost again. So what I did, though, I switched out Articuno for Zapdos because Articuno was a little bit too slow. And Zapdos can get some good super effectiveness on a lot of Pokemon on Will's side. But I still lost that attempt. Now, I'm going to attempt this one on record, with you know, on camera, see if we can get through here. But if not, I'm going to have to choose different Pokemon from my collection. And if I can't complete Gym Leader Castle in this episode, it's going to have to you know, be saved and wait until next weekend, of course. In between now and then, if I fail, feel free to let me know who from my collection I should be bringing. What I could even do, and I'm considering doing this as my next attempt, if I can't win with this current team I'm using, I'm going to use the team that I initially battled the Elite Four with in Pokemon Silver, because we managed to beat them with who I brought. Anyway, let's do a team recap to show you who I have working on the team. Blaze, our Charizard with the Dragon Fang, Fire Punch, Dragon Breath, Fire Blast, and Slash for the moveset. Next we have Sprout holding Miracle Seed, Solar Beam, Sunny Day, Toxic, and Leech Seed. Uh, Sheldon, the Blastoise with the Leftovers, the moveset is Surf, Ice Punch, Skull Bash, and Bide. We have Fluffy, our Dragon Slayer of the Elite Four, hopefully she can pull through again. Holding the Nevermelt Ice, she has Double Edge, Ice Punch, Sing, and Metronome. Good old Machamp here, who I used last time against the Psychic Elite Four member, I'm not going to make that mistake again. Even though, in the unrecorded battle, he did bring Clefable. I could have Vital Throwed that, but anyway. Machamp has Quick Claw, Strength, Vital Throw, Leer, and Earthquake. And last but not least, Zapdos holding the Bright Powder, Thunder Shock, Drill Pack, Thunder Wave, and Double Team. Now, I'm going to keep in mind the fact that Zatu outspeeds every possible Pokemon in the game. I'm going to lead Zapdos. We can Thunder Wave anything and Paralyze, and then we can start outspeeding. Blaze will be super effective on two of these Pokemon, so I'm going to bring him. He's pretty quick also. And I'm going to also bring Sheldon for the defensive side, and if all works out well... I can try using Bide. Whoa. Hasn't pulled through really for us Whoa. lately, if ever. Has it ever really worked for us? I can't even recall. Anyway, if it has, that's in the past. We're going to focus on this battle right now. Zapdos leads against... Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it! Now, as it turns out... I completely didn't realize this, but Kadabra is faster than Zapdos as well, so we're going to Thunder Wave that. Go. Going for the Psychic Attack straight up. Alright, an attack on That's the Psyche. Ooh, more painful than I would have expected. So, I want to save Zapdos. Because his Thunder Wave is going to be so useful against other things. Let's go into our defensive Sheldon. We can try and go for some super, not super effective, but some stab surf attacks. Kadabra does not have the best special defense, but based on the last attempt that was not recorded, it's uh, surf is a three hit KO, I think. But if we're lucky, we can get some full paralysis on Kadabra. That is lucky spot number one. So, it has Thunder Punch, from my recall. I was going to go for the Skull Bash for the physical attack, but you know what? The Thunder Punch is too much of a threat. We're going to get as much damage off as we can right now. If we can soften this thing up to the point Zapdos can get a KO, then whatever comes in next, Zapdos could possibly Thunder Wave as well. So with the Leftovers recovery, will that be enough, Sheldon? If the Kadabra is fully paralyzed, it might be. That did about 80 as it was. 81, I think. But we hit another Surf Attack on the Kadabra. Fully paralyzed. All right, so... If we do manage to complete the Elite Four with this attempt, then I'm going to say it's based on a lot of luck here, but I am completely okay with a lot of luck. Surf attack, Sheldon. Do this. Kadabra does fall. Now, do we see the Executor? The Executor has Giga Drain. I did bring Blaze, though. I can switch into him. Zatu would be a problem as well, but I have Ice Punch. Lapras would be a big issue. Clefable? Not quite as much. I'm going to stay and go for the 
Surf attack once again. I was going for the stab surf, get as much damage off as we can. We're faster than Clefable. Excellent, good to know. Come on, you can do this. Yeah, it's gonna be another three hits if we survive a thunder. Which we do. And leftovers heals us up. We can maybe handle another one at this point. Big HP difference. Yes, there is. Can we get a critical? I'm only asking for too much. So, it's not going to be critical. Although, if it was, I would have been okay with that. And Psychic Attack. Alright. So, it's got Thunder. It's got Psychic. I'm going to bring Zapdos now. Would his special defenses be enough to handle either of those attacks? Maybe. But, we're going to go in and go for the Drill Pack. I think Drill Pack would be the most effective. And we got to hope that we can take this thing down and possibly get a Thunder Wave off on whatever else comes in next. Yeah, one more Drill Pack should get the KO. As they fire off the Thunder, can we dodge this with a Bright Powder? Excellent! Alright, we are in a decent spot this time around. Let's go ahead, Drill Peck once again, Clefable Falls, one Pokemon remaining. I'm hoping it's something that we are faster than and we can Thunder Wave. Now, the Lapras will be a problem because we only have Blaze in reserve. Zapdos has only Thunder Shock, and again, I said this before, it's too bad you only get one Thunderbolt TM. Oh, actually, Thunderbolt is not a TM in Gen 2. It is a move tutor move in Crystal, which I could possibly do at some point off camera, but... Well, no, I'm probably not going to bother with doing that. Let's see if we can handle this. The Bright Powder! Yes! Alright, Thunder Wave, do it! Oof. Yeah, I could do an off-camera Pokemon Crystal thing and just get Thunderbolt for Zapdos, but uh, Thunderbolt becomes a TM in like the next generation again, so... Eventually, once we get to Gen 5... That was a lot more powerful than I would have thought. But once we get to Gen 5, TMs are multi-used anyway, so... Although it might take a while to get to that point, Zapdos will eventually get his Thunderbolt attack. So, just bear with me as we don't quite finish the Zatu, but that was so much luck on my side. I am okay with that. We had dodged the Psychic with the Bright Powder. We Thunder Wave. We managed to get two full turns of Paralysis. I bet you didn't see that coming, Will. I will tell you this much, I didn't. You blew it off? No, that is just luck. But if that's what I need to get Moonlight on my Clefable, I will take all the luck you want to slide my way. All the luck you're willing to give me. I should have said that first, now my pun is late and stupid. Or, it would have been stupid anyway. I didn't read what he said. He's impressed at least, I saw that much. So, Koga, the Ninja Master of the Elite Four. A lot of poison types generally. We don't have any grounded... Well, we have Earthquake. Would you care for a glimpse into the world of the ninja? Alright. So we see Muck. Muck is kind of hidden. And a lot of poison types, as I said. Electrode as well. A lot of potential for Giga Drain, which I don't like to see. I do want to bring Sheldon. Just in case the Gligar comes in, we can get some good damage off. Although... Wait a minute. Fluffy has Ice Punch. So, best lead, I'm going to lead Zap, or not Zapdos, Blaze, I'm bringing Fluffy. Zapdos would be pretty good against the Bugs and the Golbat. Let's do that. Can't really go for our own ninja tactics with uh, Sprout, because Toxic is blocked by the poison types. I must, you're right sir. Now, as we go further into the Gym Leader Castle, the Elite Four, you're going to see like the, the scenery starts to change. It's hard to tell from this one to the previous battle, but the, the sky is starting to get a little bit darker. So, you are one that I don't want to take damage on Blaze for, so let's go and switch into... I'm going to go Zapdos. Muck has decent special offense, but I don't think its physical defense is very good. However, I'm expecting we're going to see Minimize and Acid Armor, perhaps. They could just go for Toxic as well. Well, double team. Same idea as Minimize, basically. Except in Gen 5 and up. Is it 5 or Gen 6 and up? Minimize now doubles your, uh, your stat evasiveness boost. But if we can land Thunder Wave, we'll at least be in a decent-ish spot. Alright. Paralyze. That could help us out in the long run. 
Savor the toxic. We don't have any ways to cure off the toxic. This is going to be a problem. Drill Peck. Yeah, probably Drill Peck is the best way to go. They haven't done any acid armoring yet. If we can land the hit. Come on, Zapdos. Yeah, a little damage is going to take a few more of those. Koga is going to be a problem. So who do I not need? I'm thinking Zapdos. Well, I was thinking saving Zapdos for the bug types. But Blaze is here with the Fire Punch and Fire Blast. So he's probably more effective. I think I'm going to keep Zapdos in at least until the Toxic is about halfway down. I can switch him out. At least doing so is going to reset the amount of damage that Toxic is going to inflict on him. So it's going to increase the number of turns we can keep him in battle. Excuse me, we got the hiccups here. Alright, come on, we can do this. Yes, it hits. You can always tell by the sound effect. You can hear like a whoosh for a whiff, or you can hear the more impactful sound attack. Nope, it still can't move. And I like that. I might have mentioned this in Stadium 2, or Stadium 1, but they do have a little bit of coding in the game to... We hit! They do put some coding in the game where the announcer will reference things that happened in the previous turn. Like right there, he says, nope, it still can't move. Double team, alright. So, Fluffy is coming in now. I don't want Blaze taking any toxic yet. And if we already had Moonlight on Fluffy, we could always heal up some of the damage that toxic did give us. But, that is why we're going through the Elite Four right now, to try to get that Moonlight attack. Hopefully Fluffy oh, can land a double double team, a double edge. Fortunately, we're not poison or sight. Fortunately, we're not fairy type. And therefore, Sludge Bomb is not super effective. What impact will this Pokemon switch have land the double edge. Come on, Fluffy, you can do this. Oh, they faked me out. It didn't have the whiff sound. And Fluffy is poisoned. How do I like that, Koga? The, the nerve of that guy. Did you see that? Alright, come on. Can we do this? this? I didn't think oh, so. And Additional the poison's gonna bring us down if the sludge bomb situation. doesn't, but the sludge bomb is going to. So Zapdos has to come in That's now. I can't allow yeah, Blaze to get poisoned. There goes our chance to get rid of Gligar with a single oh, easy ice punch. But Zapdos, if you can bring the muck down... That might be all we need. Possibly, Blaze can take out the other two things. Will it be okay? I hope so. Come on. They're changing the sound effects. That's not fair. You're getting me excited for nothing. Blaze comes in now. Just one Pokemon Most accurate move we have will be the Fire Punch, well, Slash and Dragon Breath as well, but either of those attacks should get the KO. We just have to land one hit on this thing. You've been dodging every single hit. Not hit. You've been dodging every single attack. Why do you need more double team? The answer is you don't. Because you're done! Oh my! Missed again! I thought that would work. And there's the toxic. You can miss this, you know. Thank you. Not fully accurate. Come on, Blaze. Come on, Blaze. Heart of the cards! The bow down appears to be the plan. The white hot battle continues. I have an idea. What this? Oh my! Not for this fight, again. but I have an idea for the future attempt. There's the shot. Hit. That was good. They're both hanging tough. Koga likes to poison things. All right. Certain Pokemon cannot be poisoned. Those are poison types. A light hit settles this. This cannot be? Oh, yes it can. But, since I expect we're going to be losing this attempt... Venomoth, you know what? You're taking a Fire Blast, buddy. Since I expect we're going to lose this attempt, 
I have an option for who I can bring in. We might not need him. We might manage to pull through this. I'm not going to get excited yet because we are on a timer with that Toxic. Come on, show us the Ariados. Hmm. I don't want to risk them getting a Sludge Bomb on us and knocking us out. I'm going for the inaccurate Fire Blast. Just sit back and let this happen. Might land the hit, might miss, might lose the match. Let's find out. I'll take it. Oh, man, that muck really mucked with our schemes. Blaze, you're amazing. That's all I can say. The hat is here for a reason. Okay, so that was the second of the Elite Four. It stands to reason that you defeated Will. Yes, it does. Although I didn't really have much of a good show there. My idea was going to be I could bring Arbok immune to the Toxic. Haze could eliminate all those stat changes. We could glare and paralyze things. But that is all in the past. Let's continue going after Bruno, the fighting type. It would disturb me for you to underestimate my fighting Pokemon. Get ready. We have Drill Peck on Zapdos, but they have Golem. So then, our best physical defense is, of course, Sheldon. We're leading with him. I am bringing Zapdos. And possibly, I'm thinking Blaze would resist the fighting attacks. And you know what? I see Blastoise there. No, hang on. I'm bringing Sprout. We haven't used him yet. Plus, the Blastoise is there. I can go for a Sunny Day Solar Beam combo. Now look at the sky. Hopefully better than we did against Koga. Thank you for asking, sir. Look how far up we've gone on the, uh, the ladder here, too. Not ladder, but the platforms. And is that a Charizard in the background? A giant statue. Ah, a Blastoise versus Blastoise. Now is the time to bide. If it's going to work at all, this is the time. Their Blastoise is faster. But we resist this nicely. And since we don't take a lot of damage from that, that means that we're not going to dish out a lot in response. But, you know what? We'll get what we can. They're probably going to switch out. Now that we're locked into bide. Hmm... Would you have anything good against our Venusaur? So they haven't hit us yet. Can I switch out while using Bide? I can. Alright. It's not like in the uh, Game Boy game where you're locked into it and you have to wait till it uses up its you know, two or three turns of storing energy. So what does the Machamp go for? I'm hoping Earthquake. Crosschop. It's high critical hit ratio. It did bring our Machamp down in the Elite Four. We handle that, though. Do we Thunder Wave or just Drill Peck? I'm going to Drill Peck. I think Sprout or Sheldon could be faster than Machamp if they have to come in. So let's get the damage off that we can right now. One more Drill Peck gets the KO. Strength. Not resisted. Not stab. We handle it. Alright, Drill Peck will bring Machamp down for sure. I can use Zapdos to get some damage off on... Wait a minute. Ah, oh, here comes the Onyx or the Golem. Onyx. Alright, so I'm going to switch back into Sheldon. Because he is, I guess, least useful against a lot of these Pokemon. Would we see an explosion from this Onyx? Possibly. That's why I don't want to switch into Sprout, because we're going to need him to deal with the Blastoise. Come on back, Zapdos. We're saving you for Machamp. We know you outspeed it. One more Drill Peck will bring that one down. And as long as we can survive some hits from the Onyx, Sheldon should get the KO here. wonder what they would switch in, knowing that we have our Blastoise out here. Rock Throw. Alright, alright, whatever. Let's just go with the Surf Attack. Most powerful hit we have if the Blastoise does come back in, of course. As I expected it would. So long, Onyx. Bruno, you're going to try to fill up the last of this episode, aren't you? Because, yeah, we're already about 20 minutes into it. 
So, you are the final part of the episode, I'm going to say. We'll finish up the Elite Four. It's going to have to be a cliffhanger to be continued until next weekend. Now, what did they use? They use Surf. I'm going to switch into Sprout. I can go for the Sunny Day as they switch out, more than likely. I don't think Machamp would have anything super effective on Sprout. We will find out, though, as Sprout just soaks up the Surf attack. Headbutt. Alright, so we're going to go... I should have really taught him Giga Drain at this point. But I'm hanging on to that TM and Silver for somebody else. I'm not switching. What are you doing? Let's go with the... I could Leech Seed. I'm going to do that. I'm going to Leech Seed. I'm expecting them to swap into the Machamp. Or they can just go Ice Punch. But I think we can handle that. It hurt. But our recovery from the Leech Seed should be plenty to uh, keep us in battle. The only problem being... We need two turns to be able to get damage off him. So we're going to switch back into a Sheldon. You know, with the leftovers and Leech Seed recovery, there's really not much this Blastoise can do to us. If only there was a way we could slow it down. But what I can do here, I can go for the Skull Bash and increase our physical defense. Because I think the Onyx and Machamp won't be able to do too much to Sheldon at that point. As long as you don't freeze us. Weak indeed. So recovery, we'll get leftovers as well. Gradually, the Blastoise is going to be whittled away at. We're going to go for the Headbutt, we're going to go for the Skull Bash. He might flinch us, but with the recovery, even a critical hit with the recovery, I don't think we need to really worry too much about this uh, Blastoise. Yeah, we flinch, but I am actually okay with that. Tell you what, get your, uh, get your flinches, get your criticals out right now. I'd rather the CPU use them up right now when it's not going to make a difference, rather than save them for the final Elite Four member and the Champion too, because you know what? Those are when they're really going to count. There you go, another flinch. As I say, I am okay with that. Look, we're gradually healing back up to full as it is. So let's go for that Skull Bash once again. And that Headbutt. Leech Seed Recovery. Okay, now you're starting to annoy me. Oh wait, never mind, I thought it was another flinch. Our defense goes up. The only problem with that, of course, is the Machamp will possibly get a critical hit and just bust right through that defense increase. They probably realize the headbutt isn't as powerful anymore, although the smarter move for them might have been to keep going for that for the flinching. No, the smarter move would have been to switch out long ago so the Leech Seed wasn't affecting Blastoise anymore. It certainly did. So, let's just go for the Surf Attack. I doubt they're going to switch out at this point, but Surf is our most powerful move, and we're going to get the Leech Seed Recovery before anything else. Take a little bit of damage from Surf. Down it goes. Alright, so we recover nicely. Do we get the Leftovers Recovery even though we didn't get the knockout? No, we don't. Alright, so Machamp is most likely coming in right now. I'm going to switch into Sprout because if we let him fall... Oh, we do get Leftovers. Alright. If we let Sprout fall, Zapdos comes in for free, goes for the Drill Peck, finishes Machamp, I'll let Zapdos fall to the Onyx, and then Sheldon comes in and finishes Onyx with a Surf Attack. This is how you play Pokemon. You gotta think 3 or 4 or 72 moves ahead of the opponent. And with any luck... Never mind, Seismic Toss, but with any luck, we could have gotten a Solar Beam off. Just for a little bit of added damage on the Machamp, let's throw a Leech Seed its way. We could even Toxic it, too. We are faster than Machamp, okay. But at least we'll get a little bit of recovery on our next Pokemon. Or not this turn. Actually, no, we're not going to, because Zapdos is going to finish it up. It does have Earthquake, alright. So Sprout does fall with a critical... Thanks for getting it when you don't need it. Because when you do need it, I don't want you getting that. So away goes Sprout. Zapdos comes in for a... Unless it's holding Quick Claw, Zapdos gets a free KO with the Drill Pack. And then, as I say, there's not much he can do to the Onyx when it comes in. I guess go for the Drill Packs. In fact, you know what? Wait a minute. Okay, they don't want to lose Machamp just yet. They know what's happening. But this gives us a free chance to switch to Sheldon anyway. Watch how much. Did we... Was that 14 we did last time? Critical hit! 
Alright, I didn't want a critical anyway. I want to save those for when they're really going to come in, in a pinch. So I'm going to switch Zapdos out as Sheldon withstands another rock throw easily. Go for the Surf. Possible knockout on Machamp if it comes back in. But even if not, we can Surf and possibly take the Onyx down. There is the rock throw. Hardly anything to worry about. So the Machamp is below half. Surf might be enough to finish it up at this point. Go ahead, off you go, Onyx. Bruno, stop stalling things out. You're not going to win this. I mean, I know I'm doing the same thing when I switch my Pokemon, but I'm the human player. I'm allowed to do that. You're just a computer player. That's enough. Surf away. So, the only possible thing that could ruin this is a super critical, mega critical cross job. I was trying to think of what the actual attack name was. Never mind, we're faster, I forgot. Surf. Machamp falls, Onyx comes in, Surf brings down Onyx. And that's going to wrap up the episode once we do get the KO, we're not done just yet. What if the Onyx were to explode at this point? I mean, we'd still win, we have Zapdos in reserve, but... As we finish up, I will say thank you for watching, and feel free to leave a comment down below. As I said, since Bruno decided to stall things out a little too long, I'm going to save the rest of the Elite Four for next weekend. So I have to come back next weekend to check that out to see if we actually managed to win. How are we faster than Onyx? Anyway, this is going to be a finishing blow as the announcer did indicate. Onyx falls and hopefully we'll have completed the Elite Four next weekend. The fun thing is for me, after I'm done recording this, I'm going to record the final part. I gotta save it in reserve for next week. So as I say, feel free to leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of the battles of the team that I chose and did you enjoy that last battle? Your next adversary, Carrot, has a battle style that is entirely unlike mine. Now what will you do? I think I changed your voice there, Bruno. But, as I say, that is going to wrap up today's episode, this last weekend's episode of Pokemon Stadium 2. Again, feel free to let me know what you thought in the comments down below. And there is a playlist down in the description if you want to check out the previous episodes of Stadium 2 and see all the struggles we've gone through to get to this point. Hopefully next weekend completing Gym Leader Castle. And there's still quite a bit more of Stadium 2 for us to check out as well. So come on back next weekend as we continue our adventures through the N64 generation of console Pokemon games. All that being said, once again, thank you for checking out today's episode. Professor Chaz is signing off, and I'll catch you next time.